wanted to do a quick tutorial or review of the X6 that I got and I found this online from China. Um, I paid like 50 bucks for it, but I've seen other people get the X9, which is supposedly a little bit better for uh, about 25, 30 bucks. So shop around. Um, so when I first got it, couldn't figure out how to turn it on, turn the on switch on. <clears throat> you get nothing. So I figured out you got to hold the power button. Which is or the start button, which is the power button. Got it to kick on. Now it originally came with uh, Nintendo and Game Boy Advance on it. So for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how to get. Uh, I really wanted Super Nintendo just for the the Mario games, and I wanted Genesis on here for the Sonic games and Crash. Um, but I did get some of the ROMs on here, and I got them to work. Let's see if I can do this without the glare and one-handed. But we'll go down to main directory here and they have the button swapped so A is here B is here it's kind of stupid but it's workable um, and then I'm gonna go down to games on demand because all games and classic games here I'll show you all games and classic games are uh, not readable for me well actually Oh yeah, this is the 1000 games and if you scroll through it, it's it's kind of, you'll see Scooby-Doo there, I'll keep scrolling. Um, it'll come back, you'll see Scooby-Doo come through again. So there's maybe, maybe a hundred games on here and it's repeated ten times. Metal Slug, some some of the older games. Metal Slug's one of my favorite, Contra, Super Mario for the NES. But yeah, these are all NES games and Game Boy Advance games. Um, there's, yeah, there's quite a few, a lot of games you'll never play. I have to go through and delete a lot of these. Um, well, yeah, let's go back. I'm gonna go down to quit. Sorry, I have to do this one-handed once again. Alright, and then... I'm gonna go back again. And I'm gonna go to Games On Demand. This, so this is where all I added all my games in and some extra folders, so I was able to get the Super Nintendo and the Genesis added. Um, these are the two original folders that came there. I added these four just so I could read them and I added all my own ROMs and everything. I'm pretty sure this is where like the uh, the emulator files and stuff are, so I don't want to delete the original folders. Um, I also copied all the emulated, the SN, ES, and Genesis emulators into those two folders as well. Just to, I think that's how I got it to work. I copied them all over the place, so I'm not too sure, but I went copy crazy. So I'll show you what's in the SNES folder here. Uh, it's Adam's Family 11. Da, 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 da. Let's go down to one that everybody knows here. Uh, let's try Killer Instinct. And they do all need to be in SMC format or else they won't read. I just proof that it does work. The SNES actually works pretty good. The um, uh, Genesis emulator runs a little bit slow for some of the games, but some of the games work perfect. All right, so we're gonna hop out of here. You can back out by holding the bottom two buttons, start and select. Let's go to Zelda, Link to the Past, Zombie Ate My Neighbors. Uh, this was just a test, so I don't think I have all of my games in here. Let's see. Let's scroll from the top. There's all. There's all the supers. Super R types of Mario World, Mario World Two. Let's go down to All Stars. My favorite. One of my favorites. Punch Super Punch Out's on there. I have to get a different ROM for that because that one ROM is giving me trouble. But. So you can see the Super Nintendo works. It's, music's a little bit fast, but there's really nothing you can do about that. The gameplay is okay. It's just the music that runs fast. Alright. I'm going to back out. I'll go into uh, NES or what NES games I put on. 
Core Zelda, let's run Zelda, bam. I got Metroid on here, yeah, and Contra, Super Contra, all, all the goodies, man. Uh, Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart. Original Blank Tyson Punch Out. Alright, well, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I would suggest getting something better than the X6, just so the Genesis runs a little bit better. Uh, if you guys do like this video um, and can subscribe for me, I'll actually make a video showing how I got the emulators and, every, and everything on there for you. Uh, the games, I can't show you where to get those. You have to have those as a backup. Um, but there's places on the internet. You can Google it and find out where to get your backups from. Alright, well, thanks again for subscribing and have a great day.